ี้สะพานสะพาน These are the example of soil salt. To the next, we will discuss the aerosols. Aerosols are formed when solid or liquid, when solid or liquid is dispersed in gaseous solvent. Aerosols is the major pollutant from jet aircraft. It means the solid and liquid. Particles which are emitted by the jet aircraft in the atmosphere, it is termed as aerosols. But here, here we are discussing what is aerosols. Aerosols, it is formed. It is a type of colloidal solution which is formed when a solid or a liquid solute is dispersed in gaseous solvent. Please, we will discussing the third one. That is what is aerosols. This type of type of colloidal solution, colloidal solution is formed when when a solid or liquid solute is dispersed in dispersed in gaseous gaseous solvent we have various example such as fog mist cloud hair spray You know, cloud is an example of liquid droplets dispersed in gas. When liquid dispersed in gas, it is a type of aerosols. Cloud, fog, mist, hair spray. These are the example of aerosols. For example, for example, what we have, for example, we have fog. The next one, mist. The next one, cloud. The next one, hair spray. The next, we will be discussing the emulsion. Emulsion is formed when we mix. When we uh, mix two immiscible liquids, it means. We have two liquids which are immiscible in each other. For example, oil in water is a type of it is type of emulsion. But when we mix alcohol in water, these are two miscible liquids. It means these two miscible liquids, alcohol and water, they form example of true solution. But what we are discussing here, that is colloidal solution. It means if we have Two immiscible liquids. It means when a solid, when a liquid is mixed with another liquid, and they form, they are immiscible. Then they form what? They form emulsion. Emulsion. Fourth one. Emulsion. Emulsion. In case of emulsion. when a liquid solute is dispersed in dispersed in liquid in liquid solvent when a liquid solute is dispersed in liquid solvent which are which are immiscible Immiscible with each other. When a liquid solute is dispersed in a liquid solvent, which are immiscible with each other, then they form. Then they form emulsion. For example, 
for the example what we have the milk milk in which the fat is dispersed in water these two are immiscible we know fat is an oil which is dispersed in water it forms emulsion the first one we have milk butter the next one face cream these are the example of emulsion in which a liquid solute is dispersed in liquid solvent which are immiscible with each other to the next we will discuss the food foam is formed when a gaseous solute is dispersed in liquid solvent when gaseous solute is dispersed in liquid solvent then they form foam which is also used in the case of fire extinguisher it means when when gaseous solute is dispersed in when gaseous solute is dispersed in liquid and liquid solvent when gaseous solute is dispersed in liquid solvent then they form then they form they form foam for example we have fire extinguisher soap bubbles so we you know soap bubbles are formed when gas is dispersed in liquid the next one soap bubbles soap bubble the next one shaving cream shaving cream these are the example of what we have these are the example of foam to the next we will discuss about the solid foam the next we will discuss the solid foam solid foams are formed this is from solid foam solid foams are formed for example we have bread we have a sponge we know in case of bread a gas is dispersed in solid when a gas solute dispersed in solid solvent as we have bread which we used to eat in our daily life the sponge which is used in case of sofas and beds these are the example of the next one solid foam it means when gaseous solute dispersed in dispersed in solid solvent then they form then they form solid foam for example for example what we have bread sponge bread we know when a gas is dispersed in in solid they form bread the sponge is also form when a gas is dispersed in solid the next one is foam rubber foam rubber the next one insulating foam these are the example of solid foam the next one we will be discussing the gel gel we know gel is form the next is gel we know the gel is form when solid is dispersed in liquid gems jellies gelatines these are the example of gel it means when a solid solute is dispersed in a liquid solvent it forms gel 
when when a solid solute disperses in disperses in liquid solvent they form they form gel for example for example what we have we have hair gel hair gel to the next we have jellies we have gelatin et here what we have based on the nature of the solute based on the physical state of solute and the solvent a colloidal solution is categorized into sol solid sol aerosols emulsion foam solid form and gel we know a sol is formed when a solid is dissolved in a liquid a solid sol is formed when a solid solute is dissolved in solid solvent aerosols is formed when solid or liquid solute is dissolved in gaseous solvent emulsion is formed when we have two immiscible liquids it means when a liquid is dispersed in a liquid but they are immiscible foam is formed when gas is dispersed in liquid solid foam is formed when a gaseous solute is dispersed in solid and gel is formed when a solid solute is dispersed in liquid these are the various types of colloidal solution which we have discussed studied by there by taking various examples to the next we will discuss the concentration of the solution we know most of the chemical reactions occur in solution state when most of the chemical reaction is occurring in solution state then in order to know the amount of reactant the amount of product formed during the chemical reaction first of all we have to know the amount of reactant and in order to know the amount of reactant we have various way to express it it means in order to express the amount of solute the amount of reactant the amount of product in a solution we have various ways it means first of all we will discuss how to express the concentration of the solution that can be expressed by various ways these are percentage w by w percentage v by v which you will study in this class in the, in the next classes you will study is percentage v by w ppm mole fraction molarity and molarities normality formalities these are the various way how to express the concentration of the solution but by before explaining you this uh, percentage w by w percentage v by v we will know what do you mean by concentration of the solution concentration of solution let us take let us take two solution this one is a and the next b curve we have this one is b having same amount of water here we have 500 ml of Here also we have 500 ml of H2O. In the first A, we add we add what 20 gram of NaCl. In the next we have add 100 gram of NaCl. What we see here? We see. these two solutions a and b they have same amount of solvent or water this contain 500 ml of water this also contain 500 ml of water but but in this case we have added 20 g of sodium chloride and in this case 
we have added 100 gram of sodium chloride. What we know, what is the difference between these two solutions? This solution has lesser concentration of solute, whereas this solution has higher concentration of solute. This is termed as more concentration, concentrated solution, and this is less concentrated solution. But what do you mean by concentration? Concentration it means it is a measure of amount of solute present in a solvent. Right? What do you mean by concentration? Concentration of solution. Concentration of solution is a measure of measure of amount of amount of solute present in present in a solution. Here we see solution A contains lesser amount of solute, it is lesser concentrated, it has lower concentration and it has higher concentration. As we see, as we see above In the two cases, in the two cases, solution, solution B has, B has greater amount of, greater amount, greater amount of solute, solute in comparison to Comparison to the amount of amount of solute solute in see here it contain 20 gram of sodium chloride it contain 100 gram this one is better in comparison to this one comparison to A therefore therefore solution B is more concentrated or, or it is more concentrated in comparison to in comparison to A. But here we will remember that we have taken same amount of solvent that is water. In this case, it contains lesser amount of solute. In this case, we contain it contains greater amount of solute. This one is more concentrated in comparison to this one. Let us discuss how to express the concentration of the solution. It means how to express the concentration. Concentration of solution. We have two ways in this class. In the next classes, we will discuss various type, various way how to express the concentration of the solution. But in this class, we will discuss only two. That is percentage W by W. The first one is percentage mass by mass that is percentage W by W and the next one is percentage percentage volume by volume that is percentage V by V. These are the two ways how we are going to express the concentration of the solution. Percentage mass by mass. It means the amount of solute. Percentage mass by mass can be explained. The amount of solute divided by the amount of the solution into 100. It means the amount of solute divided by the amount of the solution multiplied by 100. 
Then the amount of solute in mass that is in grams divided by the amount of solvent in gram multiplied by 100 and that is termed as percentage W by W whereas percentage V by V means the volume of solute when the solute is in liquid state and the solution is in liquid state then we use percentage V by V it means the volume of solute in ml divided by the volume of solution in ml multiplied by 100 that is termed as percentage volume by volume. Let us discuss percentage W by W. Percentage Percentage W by W. Or we can say percentage mass by mass. In short, it is represented as percentage W by W. Percentage W by W is defined as the amount of solute in grams present in 100 gram of solution. It means it is defined as it is defined as defined as the amount of amount of solute in gram present in present in 100 gram of solution how we express it express it concentration percentage w by w it is defined as mass of solute divided by mass of solution into you know concentration percentage w by w is expressed as the mass of the solute by mass of solution into 100 we know what you mean mass of solute is equals to divided by mass of solution we know mass of solution it means the mass of solute plus mass of solvent because solution contains solute plus solvent it means mass of solute plus mass of 